Good day everyone, it's me, Teacher Ray. Let us learn mathematics easy and fun. Quarter 3, Week 4, Mathematics 4. Objectives. Relates triangles to quadrilaterals. Mathematics 4, Geometry, 3rd Quarter, Week 3. Relates one quadrilateral to another quadrilateral. So, from here, this figure is a quadrilateral. So, if we cut this into diagonally, like this one, so what figure can you form? We have here a triangle. Two triangles can be formed when we cut a quadrilateral. So, look at this illustration, no? So here we have a one triangle is measure 180 degrees. The other one is also 180 degrees. No? That is a triangle. So shown above is an illustration on how we can relate a triangle to quadrilateral. So there is a relation between triangle and quadrilateral. Here, the sum of the measures of the angles of each triangle has a total of 180 degrees. Since a quadrilateral contains two triangles, therefore, the sum of these measures, so we have 180 and 180, the sum of the measures of its angle is equal to 360. So a quadrilateral has a measure of 360 degrees. And when you divide it, you have two triangles and it measures 180 degrees. Okay, so this time let us discuss about quadrilaterals. As you can see, kung nakikita niyo po dito sa illustrations, we have quadrilaterals and it is divided into two. We have the parallelogram and the trapezoid. So, under parallelogram, we have rectangle, rhombus, and square. And under trapezoid, it is only one. So, a quadrilateral consists of parallelogram and trapezoids. So, all of these example of quadrilaterals. It is clearly shown that a trapezoid is not a parallelogram. No? Only the rectangle, rhombus, and square are parallelogram, but they are all quadrilaterals. Ibig sabihin, mga bata, lahat sila quadrilateral, kind of quadrilateral. Pero, si trapezoid ay hindi siya parallelogram. Ang parallelogram lang ay rectangle, rhombus, and square. Okay, now, we can use the idea of the relation of rectangle and triangle in finding the area of a quadrilateral and a triangle. So, kaya natin pinag-aaralan yung relation ng triangle at saka ng quadrilateral because in the next lesson that we have, um, we will discuss about finding the area. No? So, here, another illustration above shows the relation of triangle and quadrilaterals where their formulas clearly relate. So, the formula in getting the area of a quadrilateral is A equals B times height or base times height. 
while in triangle is A equals B times height divided by 2. So, it is clearly stated that the area of a quadrilateral whole, no? when you divide, you can get the area of a triangle, no? which shows that in every quadrilateral, there are two triangles. There are many different types of quadrilaterals, and they all share the similarity of having four sides. Two diagonals and the sum of their interior angles is 360 degrees. They all have relationships to one another, but they are not all exactly alike and have different properties. For your learning task one, so you're going to answer the questions, these three questions from the illustration. Ito yung illustration, ito yung questions. So here, the uh, learning task to the man, using the drawing, ito po yung drawing, you're going to identify if the figure is quadrilateral or triangle. For example, letter A, what is this? A triangle or quadrilateral? Oh yes, this is a triangle. So you're going to write triangle. For the learning task 3, write true if the statement is correct and false if it is not. So, nalagay nyo lang kung totoo, true, false naman kung mali. These are the questions. A triangle is a parallelogram. Is it true or false? A parallelogram is consists of three triangles. Both triangles and any quadrilateral is equal to 360 degrees. A quadrilateral is equal to 360 degrees. Trapezoids can never be a parallelogram. Learning task 4, draw a rectangle garden. At the center of the rectangular garden, draw a triangular pool. Design your garden with a four-sided object that will make it beautiful. That's all for today. Thank you for listening. See you next week.